What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Today we have an uncommon occurrence. A straight white man who doesn't bring me the urge to drive off an overpass. <laughs> Dr. Jeffrey Young. His hair may say fast times at Ridgemont High, but the brain is serving CSU School of Veterinary Medicine, bitch. He's a vet who puts pets over profits, dogs over dollars, and cats over cash, animals over alimony. You may recognize him from his TV show, Dr. Jeff Rocky Mountain Vet on Animal Planet. If so, you already know he's a superhero in the animal community. Now, Jeff and I both believe that bodily autonomy is important and support a woman's right to choose. Well, unless she's a bitch. <laughs> Game over, is Maisie. <laughs> Every year, millions of dogs and cats are euthanized in our nation's animal shelters because there's more pets than there are responsible homes for them. And until this issue is resolved, it's so important that you spay and neuter your pets. Which is why Dr. Jeff established Planned Pethood Plus in 1990 as a low-cost spay and neuter clinic to offer his beneficence to balls and bobos alike. He sterilized over 160,000 animals in the last 18 years. Uh, what's your policy on members of Congress who act like animals? We'll talk. The other goal of Planned Pethood Plus is ending economic euthanasia and the suffering of companion animals by offering affordable veterinary medicine to everyone, even stupid people. Now, y'all know I'm not one to gossip, but about four years ago in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, a couple from the Cult of Christ noticed their golden retriever stopped eating and brown bombing the lawn. We'll just call them Jezebel and Judas. They took their dog to Dr. Jeff for a medical examination, and upon inspection, Jeff discovered the dog had eaten a sock. Jeff told Jezebel and Judas the dog needed surgery to have the sock removed, and he would charge them around $800, which is pretty cheap to surgically remove some fruit of the fucking loom to unclog your dog's asshole. But Judas and Jezzy said they needed to confabulate with Jesus, and after some parking lot prayer and communion crackers. They went back in and said that God told them the dog didn't need surgery. They're fucking nuts or God gives really bad medical advice. Jeff informed them that surgery was the only option if they wanted the dog to survive and even offered to greatly reduce the price even further. Once again, back to the parking lot for more sky telepathy and a quick bath and lamb's blood. Then, breaking news, Judas and Jezebel said God told them to take the dog home and he'd be fine. Jeff, who apparently knows more than God, knew if they took this dog home, he would die. So Jeff offered to pay them a couple hundred dollars to surrender their dog so he could save his life. But sometimes you can't win and that's how that dog died. I'm just kidding. They took that cash like it was a fucking robbery, ditched their dying dog, and ran. They didn't have to pray about that one, I'll tell you that. Oof. But that dog's name is Fred, and don't worry, he has had the surgery, and he is alive and well today. Dr. Jeff and his wife adopted Fred, and he's had an amazing life so far, daily hikes and traveling the world with his forever family. He's been on Jeff's show on Animal Planet, and he's on all the promotional posters for the show. But why am I telling y'all about Fred? Because this month, on June 26, I will be at Planned Pethood in Wheat Ridge, Colorado with Fred, and we want you to come hang out with us. There's going to be a fundraising and adoption event there from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Lots of animals looking for forever homes, and Fred's helping his dad raise money to build a training center in Conifer, Colorado to give vet students more hands-on training. Because God only knows when your dog may eat a fucking sock. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you forget to spay and neuter your cats, canines, and Christians.